today uh we'll be looking at git and this git um, so if make sure you go through the material so you you understand it properly now the first one is so we should create and set up your git and github account so there's a create an account on github if you don't do not have one already so if you don't have a github account you just wait to simply come and then you create an account yeah so now it's a create a personal access token on github so once you've created account on your github the first thing is to create your personal token now how you create your personal token is you come here then on clicking on this place you come to your settings now coming to your settings you come down to developers settings that's under your settings under your developer settings you come back to this OAuth apps your personal access token now under your personal access token you see two options you see fine grain token which is still in its beta stage and you see token classic now if possible make use of this token classic now you can see i've created like two now what you need to do you come to this place generate new token and then you can see to ask you go for this one that's the classic now it will ask you for password now you see new personal access token now note what's this token for so i'll use git alx git so expiring date you can set it to no expiring custom 90 days well me i set mine to a year since i know this program will run for a year so that was why i set it for a year for but for this one i'll leave it for 30 days now if you want to set it for more than 90 days that's for up to a year you just come to this custom then you define it so like you check the day you are creating this is fifth this is fifth of march 2023 so i'm going to put it as fifth of the same march but this time around i'll put 2024 so this is how to set it for up to a year but i'll not do that i'll just set it for seven days see so you see this you see the token will expire on sunday march 12th so now you can see all these things now uh what you just do you come back to your task now if you check uh very well you can follow this tutorial so if you come enter this tutorial So you find out that they clicked on three things your repo your admin repo hook and your delete repo so you go back there so you check to your repo your admin i seen it you see there are different admin here but the one you clicked was admin repo hook and then the last one was delete good delete repo so those are the three things if possible just mark these three things now once you are done you now go ahead and generate token now looking at you see this token what you need to do is make sure you save the token so this is where you copy it so you can see copied so this is where you copy it and then you can now go down to your pc open your notepad paste it there and then simply save it so my do so let me save save it here now once you are done saving it why you need to save it is that once you go out of this place you will not see it again that's why they say make sure to copy your personal access token now you won't be able to see it again so once i move out of this place i will not be able to see my token now let me show you let me even refresh it now you can see my token is no longer there like even if you decide to enter it you see you just see the settings here and you can come and re-update it if you want select any other option or remove any other option i can see you can regenerate it that's in a situation where you've lost the token so like that so now once you are done you go back so the next one says update your profile on intranet so uh, i believe say update your intranet profile by adding your github username here so here now on your intranet this is where you add your github you can see it here github username just the username now how do you know your github username is very very easy 
Now, if you enter your GitHub, if you enter your GitHub account, then you come either this place or this place. So this is your GitHub account. You can see it's Gideon, but to everything joined together, or you simply come here, my profile. Now you can see this is your name, your username. This is it here, Gideon Baturi. So that's that. So now you see, say, okay, step two, update your profile on your internet. So you make sure you put down your GitHub username here. Now once you are done, then you save your information. Don't forget to save your information. Then once you are done, you say, if it's not done, the checker won't be able to correct your work. So you have to do it properly. So next step, they say create your first repository. They say using the graphics interface. Now, go to down to your GitHub. Then you see a plus sign here. Tap on it. You see new repository. Now enter the repository. And then, let's see. They say give it a name. Now this is the name they want you to give the repository. So you uh, copy it and paste it. Me, I'm going to add one to it. And because I already have this repository, so it's to show me see repository already exists. So I'll add one to it. Oh, but in your own case, if this is your first time, please don't add one to it. So now let's see what next description you say. You see, they say we should add this description. So you copy the description, then you come down here, you can see description, you paste it. Now you see, they say. You should make the repo public then you should not include redmi that's why they say no redmi no dot git ignore or license so if you come you see already is public what they are trying to say is here is that you should not add any readme file here too should be none you shouldn't add anyone and the license too should be known so once you are you have done this what you need to do is to down create your repository now after creating it you see you have something like this so you leave it here now let's look at the next step step four now say open the sandbox you say on the internet just under the task click on the button get a sandbox and run to start the machine now i'm going to connect my sandbox with my terminal uh, just check the link above i think i put a link where you can actually connect your sandbox with your terminal because i enjoy using my sandbox with my terminal so that's what i'm going to do now so I've connected my sandbox with my terminal. Now it says, you see what it says, clone your repository on the web term of the sandbox. Do the following. Now this is how you clone your repository. You can see you use the command git clone. Then you use https column slash slash. Now you can see the first thing you need to enter here is your personal token. Now do you remember my token? The token we just created so i'll go back to the token this is it my token i'll copy it then i'll go back i'll paste it here then at you can see after your personal token is at git up dot com then slash the next thing you need to put is your username now if you come back here this is it you see slash this is your username and then if you check is slash your username slash alx dash zero dash day so what they are trying to tell is that from here you can actually copy from here your username and the name of the repository follow so i'll copy it here and i'll paste it here so i think that's that so once you are done you just press your enter so you can see same cloning into alx this warning you appear to have cloned so is why you are saying they are giving this warning is that actually our repository is empty we have not done anything we have not put any file there so it's actually empty so now you see the next step is that they say create the readme.md and push the modification so now how do we do that now we can't just do that now why we need to first move to this directory because this repository we have created now is more like a directory so if you check let's do list ls now you can see it here als-0 this day one so to move to that folder we use cd als-0 underscore day one enter so now we are inside the folder to check you can use print working directory 
so you can see we are now inside the folder so you now say create the file readme.md with the content my first readme so now the way to do that is you use your echo then now normally when you do echo let's say echo it's me that's what is going to return back to you in the terminal but this time around want to now write this particular what they say we should write this particular content inside our readme file as you can see here they say they say create a readme file with the content my first readme so i'll copy this one now i'm still going to use my echo i'll make sure i put the message inside a quote but this time around i will redirect it to the readme file now of course we have not created the readme file yet so how am i going to redirect it i'll use my arrow then the name readme in capital letter then dot md and enter now to check if you have created the file use ls and to check if whether or not that my first readme is now inside the readme.md you use cat cat read me make sure you spell it exactly as it is dot md so you can see my first readme so now next thing is to update your git identity now how do you do that you use the command git config dash dash global user dot email now this user dot email you now put your email address now you can mine mine is let's say info or let me use this one gideon battery five at gmail dot com enter now the next thing is to update your username now still following the same command git config dash dash global user dot name now the name you want to use for the project i'll use benello in hope okay uh, i made a mistake sorry in the global is global not globe global sorry for that so use global i think it should work now so you see i've updated the name so i'll clear my screen so that i have enough space so you see the next thing they now say add this new file to git.commit the changes with the message so now they say i should commit these changes now for you to commit these changes the first thing is to use your git add dot remember git add dot git space add space dot now enter now to check if you have added the file you can use your git status now you can see the file have been added that's why the file is green in color now the next thing is to commit so use git commit dash m or flag m instead then you put your message inside the double quote now if you check the message here says you say add the new and then commit with this message so we should commit with this message my first commit so i'll copy it and paste it here now once you commit the next is you push so use git push so now if you come back to this your repository what you just need to do just refresh the page and then you see you see you see it here my first commit this is the commit i see the readme file here which is my first readme and then you see the description here so that's that now once you are done you just go ahead and check your code okay so once you make sure now it's is is better to always most especially any instruction given to you like where you have to be precise like in this case where this one have to be contained in your readme where you have to use this one as your commit message please make sure you take note impossible even copy and paste and if you are typing it make sure you follow this is capital letter m don't use small letter m if you use small letter m your code will not check properly so the next uh, one here or the second one here it says create a new directory directory called 0x03 git your elx zero day now this we are inside our, my our directory already our repository instead so to create a file we use mkdir and now the name of this file they say is this one i'll just copy it here and paste it and enter now 
to show you whether you have to be sure whether you've created the directory or not you can use your lx now you can see our directory is there so now they say you see they say at the root of your repository and in the directory so now we created to check you can use pwd now inside of this our repository we actually created this directory again an important part make sure your commit and, your, and make sure you commit and push your code to github so now since we've created this uh directory if you come here you find out that the directory is not here yet and the reason being that we have not pushed it yet so to push it you use your git in fact you can even use git status to check now you can see so to put it in now we use git add now after git add we now use git commit flag m now i'm going to use add git directory and then git push so now you make sure you push once you push you check your code now the next one it says for the moment we have an empty project directory containing only readme.md it's time to code so now they say create this directory at the root of your project so if you are confused you can actually come here you see so what they want you to do is inside your git repository which is one we just created and inside the directory we just created so it means that we have to go into this directory now how do we go into this directory you remember you use your sorry so you use your cd the name of the directory now we are inside to confirm use pwd now you can see we are inside our directory so they say we should create they say create these directories at the root of your project bash c and gs now you know how to create your directory now so we we'll use to make a directory we'll use mkdir then the directory we are going to create is bash so you just list them with space in between now to be sure you've created it just you do your list now you can see all the directory now if you can check here they say create these empty files now what this one mean is that inside your c directory you should create this file inside your js directory you should create this file and inside your js directory the same js directory you should create this file so now the best thing to do to create a file you use touch so you don't need to enter into each of these files for you to create a file inside now for me to create this c is phone inside this c i just need to reference the c now what this c slash means is that i want to now go inside c inside c i want to create c is phone dot c so now let's confirm to confirm you can use ls c dash let's see so you can see the file c is phone inside now for js we'll do the same thing touch now i'm going to just copy and paste so that will be fast copy paste the next one too i do the same copy and then touch paste so if you list now now say create a file this with these two lines inside now they want us to create this file also so that's what i'm going to do also i'll copy i'll create using touch now what they want us to do is to insert this one inside now to insert this one inside i'm going to open the file now will i open the file i'm going to use vim so i'll do vim what this one means is that the vim should look for this file alx inside of this folder bash enter so now this is the file now since i'm using my vim i believe you know how to use vim so i'll go to my insert mode now this actually insert these two lines now the first line this slash beam slash bash then the second line they say i should put echo then alx so now i'm done now the next one is a create a file so another file school under bash so use touch remember use touch to create a file now they now say with two lines they say we should i should put this into 
the file so to open the file i'll also use vim and what this one means is that it should open the file school that is under the directory bash so now i'll go to my insert mode and then in fact i'll just copy them from here then go to the next line copy this one as well good so now let's see let's see add all these new files to git so of course you know how to do that now to check if you check your git status you find out that we have some changes here so to add them use git add dot now you can check again git status now you can see all the new files so far so next i'll just do my git commit flag m what should i even use did they say okay yes they gave us a commit message as you can see yes you commit your changes now the commit message should be starting to code today so cool just like i say if possible try to copy and make sure the commit message is in between quotes it could be a double quote it could be a single quote enter now once you are done you now push it using git push now we have pushed it the next thing is you check your code so once you are done you move to the next one you see a branch is like a copy of your project is used mainly for now if you come back to this one and you refresh you find out that the new files are there so you can see our directory if you enter you can see the three directories inside bash c and js now if you enter bash you can see the two files you created and if you enter each of them you see the content there so you can see for this one why for school you can see see it then for c you can see the the file we created why for js2 you can see the two files you created index and main so that's it so now they say for this project create a branch called update script and in this branch create an empty file called this so now what we want to do now is to create a branch now what is even branch if you come here you check here you find out that what is here is master we only have one branch if you even check view branch you see we only have one branch which is the main branch which is master so now what they want us to do is to create another branch apart from this one now to create a branch what you are going to use you are going to use your git so to create a branch you just use the word git sorry git branch then the name of your branch now the name of our branch they say we should use the name update script so that's what i'm going to use so you use git branch then the name of the branch you want to create enter now to be sure that the, you've created the branch you can use git branch so it will show you the branches or the branches that are there and it will show you the one select now the one selected will always the one you are presently on or working on will always have an asterisk and it will be colored green so you can see the new branch you just created using update script so now they say we should create an empty file name now what they want us to do is to create this file inside of this update script now for we to move now we are in the master branch but what we want to do is to create uh, a an empty folder or an empty directory inside the update script so to move to the update script branch what to use we use git we use git checkout so that checkout now then the name of your branch you want to move to update script so you see switched to branch update script so now you can confirm by using git branch now you can see the asterisk is now update script uh, and the update script is now the one green so it means we are in the branch so there's a create an empty file named bash slash 98 so should, what it means is that we should create a, a file name 98 and the file should be inside our bash so now you know how to do that already so from here or just to now make sure you are still inside this your directory when you do pwd make sure this is what is there make sure you are still inside this your directory that is inside your repository so now what i'm going to do i'll do my touch since this should create file this enter now the now say update this by replacing this now you see they say we should update this file that's the alx file inside of bash that's what i'm so first of all first open the file using my vim 
now there's also updated by replacing echo this with echo this so instead of this one we have here the soul should replace it with this one so that's what i'm going to do i'll remove this one and i'll replace it with this one i'll save then the next one then i say we should update this one so that's what i'll do now I'll use my vim to open the file now they say by replacing this with this so instead of this now they say we should replace it with this so that's what I'm, I'm going to do now i'll remove this one so now once you are done they now say add and commit these changes now this is the commit message i'll copy it my personal work so we we'll first add so you use git add full stop then the next one you use git commit dash m so remember your message then you use git push so the current branch has no okay sorry 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 now because of this is another branch so i need to specify it so you use your git push origin then the name of your your this thing git branch now the name of my git branch is update dash underscore script so you can see that it worked now so you know let me just clear it so now the next thing then i say perfect so since we've pushed it you can go and confirm you you recheck now you check now you can see we now have two branch we have our master branch and we have the update script so if you check it unlike before you know before we just have just one which is our master so now you can see update script and the rise and it's showing you the active because actually that's the branch that is active now so that's that so once you are done see perfect you did an amazing so once you are done you just go ahead and check your code so the next one it says we should get all changes we say for this tax and only for this tax please update your file redmi.md in the main branch from your github.com it's the only time you're allowed to update and commit for a github interface so are you seeing what they say for this tax and only for this tax please update your file readme.md in the main branch from github so now it means we'll come to this at github we'll come to the main branch which is this master branch so we'll come to the readme file the social update it so this is where you edit it so me i'll just put i just edited my read me file and then i'll go ahead so you can see you can actually commit it if you want this place will serve as your commit message and this place will serve as your so here for my commit message i just put updated read me file so here is a description which of course is optional so now don't make sure what you do is you commit directly to the master branch so that's what i'm going to do good so the next thing then i say after you have done that your terminal get all changes of the main branch locally that is your redmi.md file will be updated so the next i say create a new file up to date at the root of your directory and in it write the git command line used so now are you seeing what they are saying create a new file up to date at the root of your directory so now remember this is our directory which is this one we are we are having a 0x03 git so they say we should create we should actually create a new file and this should be the name of the new file up to date at the root so of course to create a new file we use touch the name of file so and in it write the git command line used used so now what they want us is to write the git command line used i get me uh -huh. so now what i'm going to do is to open this file we just created using vim up to date and then they say we should write the this thing we used now the command i used is simply touch so i will edit i'll use touch this is the command yeah the git command i used 
so i will escape and then i will save so they say add up to date to git commit message now what they want us just this file we just created now they want us to to commit it with this message exactly so i'll first add it using git add then i'll commit it using git commit dash m then the message make sure it's inside a column then git push so I'm, i don't know why I'm, <laughs> I'm always getting it wrong always remember if if it's not the master branch or main branch if it's the other branches you always use git uh, uh, instead of git push immediately so use git push ori origin then the name of the distin and the name of the branch i think is what's even the name of the branch <laughs> sorry uh okay update script yeah uh, the name of the branch so you can see it has been pushed so once you are done you just go ahead and check your code now the fifth one it says what did you do is a collaboration is cool but not really so now let's see what they want us to hear. say as you can see you have conflict okay to illustrate that please merge the branch up date script to main cool all my changes will now be part of the main branch so what they want us to do now, you know what they want us to do now you know what we just did was to create uh, another branch now once you create a branch your branch is like the exact replica of your master or your main branch so mostly why you create branch is so that you not affect the main branch or the master branch uh -huh. and it's also used for collaboration so since we've made some changes in our update script branch we need to now merge it with our main branch that's what we want to do now how do we do that to merge those two branches together now to merge is very very easy yeah so you can actually do that in in two steps so the next first thing is that you do you switch to the branch you want to merge into so that's the first thing you do you switch to the branch you want to merge into uh -huh. so now want to merge what want to merge want to merge into our main branch and in this my case, I want to merge into my master branch. So I'll switch to my master branch using, if you could remember, using git check out the name of your branch. Mine is master. So you can see switch to branch master. So the next thing, you now run the command git merge. Then the source branch. That's what it means that by source branch the branch you want to merge you know the branch i want to merge to is my master branch but the branch i want to actually merge to the master branch is my update script branch so git branch then my update script so good now um now once you have done that so now finally merge the changes i see we have to commit the merging yeah so to commit this merging now you use git commit flag m then merge i think i merged my object script of this script into my master so now you can see say your branch is ahead of your origin by two commits so once you do that the next thing is we git push origin master so now if you check they say fail to push some refs update your rejected because the remote contains work that you do not have locally this is usually caused by another repository pushing to the same ref you may want to first integrate the remote changes eg git pull before pushing again so let me use git pull 
ok so please enter and commit message to explain why this match is necessary especially if this match i don't know why this one came actually we are correct <laughs> so once you are done with this one just go ahead and check your code yeah that's what i meant even this number five uh, I was expecting to see this error message, but well, unfortunately, it matched successfully. So, but that's how to match. So, the final one it says never push too much. Say create a dot git ignore file and define a rule to never push dash files. Now, these files you are seeing, this uh, button file you are seeing now, they are kind of files that are being generated by Emacs. Yeah. So Emac files they normally generated uh, files uh, pushed by Emacs as files with this kind of symbol. So now this git ignore is is a file where anything you put in this file, what it will happen is that while pushing the file to your GitHub, those files will be ignored. So that's what they want you to do. And remember, you have to create that file inside your directory. So make sure when you do print working directory make sure you are inside your directory which is this now to create a file we use touch they say the name should be just like i say if possible always use your copy so copy it and i paste and then i want to enter the file i use vim now one of the ways to define is such a way you will never push files created this kind of files created by emacs is to use your asterisk now using your asterisk then the file which is this now what this asterisk simply means is that any file containing something like this it will make sure that it doesn't push it to your github so always take note of that once you have done this you save it then as usual you git add to confirm use your git status you can see we have added the file then you git commit always remember to commit flag m then this commit i'll use the message create a git ignore file then once you have done that then you git now remember we are switch to our update script so before i push permit me to switch back to our master branch so i'll use git checkout master so so you can use git branch to confirm now i'm in my master so i'll push now git push okay sorry uh okay Sorry, we have to do that again. <laughs> we have to create the file again. So I'm going to use create the file touch dot git ignore. Or if that's the case, since I've already created the the this thing, you know what I did is I created it in what are they calling it in the other branch. So I'll just check out to the other branch. I think the name is update script. So let me see git status uh, git branch mm -hmm. git status ls. Uh, I think this one to self. I've lost it. Okay, LA. Sorry, so that to show. Oh, is there? So please permit me. So let me check. Okay, it's not actually there. So no problem. Let me just create it. So touch. Make sure you are in your master's branch. Then I'll create my git ignore file. Then I will enter into my git ignore file always remember to include your dots yeah now just like i said 
you use your asterisk then this your tilde they call it the tilde symbol or the tilde button so once you are done you git add to confirm you can use your git status then you git commit flag m so here i'll say add git ignore file then you git push so let's remember if you are pushing to the main or master branch you can simply use your git push but if you are pushing to the your other branches apart from your main or master branch you have to use your git push then origin the name of the the branch so let's take note so you once you are done with this you now go ahead and check your code so thank you and i wish you good luck now if there's anything you don't understand that you need me to explain more you can just let me know in the comment section please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like our channel thank you and have a good day